Elizabeth Furs served Oregon's first district in Congress from 1993 through 1999. She was born into a British military family in Nairobi, Kenya, and grew up in Cape Town, South Africa. It was a time of apartheid. Her mother was a civil rights activist who formed a protest group of white and black women against apartheid. First, a teenager and her mother were beaten during one protest. It formed an intense desire to do more. She told the story to her daughter, Amanda, several times. A deep sort of unwavering belief in the power of social justice and the importance of having a voice, uh, to have a voice against power if necessary, even if it puts you at risk. Elizabeth eventually moved to the U.S. after meeting and marrying an American doctor. Amanda and her brother John grew up in California and then Seattle. Her mom supported farm workers and the activist Cesar Chavez and a boycott on grapes. My brother and I probably never had grapes in our entire life because our whole childhood was the boycott. <laughs> so she was a very um, engaged social activist her entire life. Their mom loved books and art and gardening. Really that for both my brother and I was the place that we connected, you know, on a more personal level with her. I mean, she was always busy and always engaged in projects. Gardening was her real passion. In Oregon, first became the director of the Oregon Legal Services Restoration Program for Native Americans from 1980 until 86, helping tribes win back their federal recognition. As activists, we, can, we have to have faith in ourselves and faith in our own motivation and say, we're going to take the first step. It was then that she testified in front of Congress and decided to run for office. And she won. In Congress, first pushed for money to extend the light rail into downtown Hillsboro and was a passionate advocate for women and children and for cutting military spending. She fiercely went after what she believed in and paid attention to the things that affected people's lives. When her daughter Amanda developed diabetes in her late 20s and told her mom about the many things needed but not covered by Medicare or insurance, her mom helped pass not one but two laws that changed that. Amanda mentioned it to a friend. And I said, you know, in a funny way, that was my mother's way of giving me a hug about having diabetes. And my friend said to me that your mother gave a hug to everyone who had diabetes. After six years in office, first said she was done with Congress. I think that six years is enough. I believe in term limits. I believe we need new blood in this office. Daughter Amanda was there at her side. Sometimes in the harsh rhetoric of our modern national politics, it's easy to believe nothing ever gets done. But Elizabeth first made lots of things happen, pushing for civil rights, making a difference in the lives of many. She died April 17th at her farm in Hillsboro. She was 84 years old. Pat Doris, KGW News.